thanks, John, for joining me once again. This Sky Sports curse is gone. A positive start to the season. 2 0 win against Wigan. What are your thoughts on that result? Relief, I suppose. Um, certainly relief about the Sky hoodoo. Um, it's not very often we uh, get to see a win live on Sky. Um, so we finally battered that off into the distance. I thought we start, started pretty sluggish, um, got into the game, played some really good stuff. And it could have been, I don't know, 3-2 at half time if we had taken chances. We did look nervy at the back, our typical defensive um, frailties on show. Um, but, you know, I think two players who don't normally do it for me uh, deserve some credit. I think Dazelle had another good game. It was great to see Teddy Bishop fit and working hard. And I think, you know, on on Sky, he got man of the match. He's probably up there for me. Um, Wilson did okay. Ward's clearly good leader. Um, I thought some of the movement up front was really good. We could have we could have had more chances, but equally, on another day, we could have been 2-0 down yeah. straight away. With, um, so, I don't think this is positive performances against Bristol Rovers. Um, but it, this is the league and it, we're going up against an unknown unit of Wigan because who knew what was going to turn up today, whether it was going to be a Bolton or whether it was going to be a, a decent side. So all in all, professional job, road I look at times, but we did create. So a happy tractor boy. I'm not I'm not buzzing. I'm not yeah. uh, on fire or anything like that. But at the same time, yeah, decent performance. And the sky who do a win is a win, isn't it? So... Yeah, um, bladder's rested. Um, so, um, yeah, all good here. And um, please, we've got a win and hopefully we can press press on the next few games and get another good start like we did last year. Well, Matt, thank you very much for joining me. AKA Vu from the U2. Town have just beaten Wigan 2-0 at Porton Road. League One campaign is up and running. The yeah. Sky Sports curse is no more. Um, what's your thoughts on that positive start to the season? Overall, pretty impressive, I have to say. Um, a decent, solid performance. I don't think we really had any standout players, to be honest, but pretty happy considering, what, it's the first time we've won live on Sky for a long, long time. What did, what did you make of the game? Um, it's just good to start a season off a positive, you know, positive note, really, isn't it? And it's good to see our midfielders scoring. You know, Teddy Bishop, his first goal... Yeah. Since his first, you know, when he scored his first goal against Bournemouth, that was, that's about five years ago as well. So, yeah, it's just good to see our midfield scoring. Six years ago, blimey. He doesn't he doesn't look old enough, does he? To, <laughs> no. To have scored, like, six years apart. But, no, it's it's, it's good to see. I thought we, we created some really nice triangles in midfield. We looked a bit shaky in defence at the start. NCR or Wilson, I don't think they've ever played together before, have they? But... I think we did fairly well, and it's it's just nice to start off with a win, with a clean sheet. Um, apparently, my cardboard cut out, Christopher Walken, was spotted in the stands like a lion. Okay. It's all good. Cool for you. Um, who was your man of the match? You said there's a few players didn't really stand out for you, but who was your man of the match? <sighs> Hard to say, really. Solid. I think we were solid across the park. Um, I'm going to say judge. He didn't put a foot wrong. Um, it, it would have been Sears, but those free kicks were just terrible. Norwood looked like a man possessed, but I think had he scored a goal, it would have been it would have been pretty good. Dazelle was good at pivot, but I think Alan Judge, I think he was solid. I don't want to see him on that left-hand side, though. I think he's far more effective maybe coming in for Bishop, but Alan Judge, man of the match, well played. Who'd, who'd, who got the official man of the match? Because... I watched it I on think, um, not Sky, so... I think Teddy Bishop got it on Sky, you know, because of his goal and I think his general play. Um, I think, well, it's well-deserved in some sort of way, um, but it was a well-taken goal. Like, it was a... I think it was more good for him for, re re you know, reactions for him to, like, you know, header that in because normally some players would just, like, try to maybe kick it, but he went, no, you know what? Header it in, top corner. It was a decent header. He'd, he'd, Bish did well. I mean, I hope we keep him fit. We've got so many players with with glass ankles and glass knees and glass Achilles ligaments. It's going to be a long, long year with two matches a week up until Christmas. So let's just keep our fingers crossed that we just keep the guys clean and healthy and who knows what will happen. What's your thoughts on that, that result? 
Yeah, well, on the result itself, it's the best possible start, isn't it? I'd have probably liked one more just to be top of the league. I think it could have easily have been. But, um, yeah, the result was the main thing, so I'm happy about that. Um, I think first half, it was a bit of a crazy 20 minutes there, weren't it? I mean, they could have been 2-0 up at one point. Then we could have... It could have been 3-3 free, free at half time and such. So yeah. I was sort of saying to my family next to me, we could have put this game to bed by now, but so easily Wigan... Wigan could have been in the game as well. So going in at half time, I um I thought I thought we were comfortable enough, but just kind of wish we'd have put the game to bed before we did. But thankfully we did in the end, so it wasn't a nervy nervy last ten like it would would have been. But um I thought John Nolan was man of the match. I thought he was excellent. I, I think he answered any critics that he ever had. Really, I mean his I thought he absolutely bossed that midfield. Um didn't really give the ball away. He was strong on the challenge. And yeah, Downs Downs probably does give you a little bit more of probably Nolan's sort of top ability. Downs probably give you a little bit extra on top of that, but I I, I don't know. I think Nolan definitely answered his critics today. So um, yeah, and uh, Dazel, I think there could be a few bids coming in towards the end of the window for him. I just think he's so classy, and the more that teams watch him, especially at a championship level where the game is is all on the that's pretty much not all on the floor, but I mean the the passing. Teams like to pass the ball in the championship. I think somebody might try and take a punt on Dizelle. But um but yeah, I was I was happy with it. I thought Roberts and Garner were dangerous. We didn't only really had one thing, which was to put the ball in the box to Garner or the big centre half who kept coming up. So we were guilty of giving giving away silly free kits in around the eighteen yard box, giving them opportunities which we didn't really need to give them. Um but thankfully we got the killer goal in the end and yeah, I'm happy. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> it's, it's nice to see our, our midfield scoring. You know, Teddy Bishop, he's only second yeah. ever town goal. It's been a long time since his first. Yeah. Um, but it's nice to see a headed goal. I know it was more of like a re- reaction thing, but yeah. some people don't react when they're headed, do they? So it's good to no. see a Teddy scoring. Yeah, it was, a, it, was a brilliant, it was a brilliant header. Yeah, he did, he did very well to sort of get his body in the right position to then control that and put it top corner as he did and generate the power as well. Um, didn't make too much of a defending for that, but thankfully Teddy put it away. But... Um, yeah, I, I thought we, we didn't move the ball quick enough as what we did last week. And I think probably play, playing the same side, three games running, um, probably did play a part in that when we were a little bit slower moving the ball, probably a little bit lacklustre at times. Um, but, but yeah, I mean, like I say, we've got the win and happy days. I'm just happy we got off to a good start. Well, Jason, thank you very much for joining me. Town just beaten Wigan 2-0 at Portman Road on Sky. How are you feeling after that result? Relieved. I think relieved is the best way to describe my feelings this afternoon. It, it's always the same, that first game of the season. Um, you don't want to lose. You just want to get it out of the way. I don't think performance is anything to really uh, get too fussed about. Rather, get those three points on the board and get off to a winning start. Cool. And uh, for you, your man of the match, Teddy Bishop scoring. I think you got the official man of the match for Sky Sports. But um, it's nice to see him scoring. But for yourself, who's the key player that stood out for you? Key player, man of the match, I went with Dazelle. Um, I'm a fan anyway, but nevertheless, I thought his range of passing to go today was just different class. Short passes, long passes. One of the commentators picked up on the fact that he always looks to make that forward pass. And I thought that today he also got his foot in in the second half. There was a, a Jason-esque slide and tackle that he made there and ran the, the, the sort of centre circle. So, yeah, I thought Andre had a really good game today. Do you think um, today would have been a bit different if there was the crowd in there? Um, definitely when we were 1-0 up and, you know, we're edging Wigan, you know, had their chances. And to be fair to Wigan, they did OK with a very makeshift team. Um, but do you think it would have been a bit of a difference if the crowd wasn't there? I think player for player today, Wigan were, were nobody's mugs. Uh, that wasn't a Bolton YTS team. That was a team of fairly solid professionals. And I think had they had some away crowd in there today in that corner... Uh, that could have spurred them on a little bit. Uh, equally, I think for Ipswich, not having the crowd was also um, to our advantage, as sad as that sounds. Um, I thought Toto had a measured game today, played pretty well, pretty calm. Um, and I think not having that pressure of a big crowd, 20,000 people on a hot, sunny afternoon, allowed us just to play a fairly straightforward game, not too emotional, got it done, three points, and, and, and can be well satisfied. Well, David, thank you for joining me. As always, um, you're looking nice outside in the sunshine. Um, town of just one, three points in the bag. Um, your thoughts on that result? Yeah, I mean, it was an efficient result, I think. 
Um, there's nothing particularly to get excited about, but equally there are some building blocks, I think. I, I mean, if I was coming out of the game and I was um, standing outside the North Stand, um, I wouldn't be ranting, I wouldn't be thrilled either. Um, I, I find it difficult watching on television. I get distracted by things. There's cups yeah. of coffee. There's there's all of those, and you don't you don't get involved in the same way. And I can't wait to get back down there to watch it properly. Um, it's a slightly weirdly dispassionate experience watching things on television. I find I'm 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 I'm, I'm not a TV watcher. Um, generally speaking, I thought Dazelle in the first half was excellent. Faded a bit. Um, I liked Gary Roberts, and I did enjoy um, Jerry Garner falling over all the time, uh, doing what he always used to. Um, and, I, and I have missed his, um, what do they call it? Shithousery, don't they? Yeah, um, uh, down at Portman Road. Uh, that's, I, I think that he's a big loss to us. Generally speaking, I think that Wigan looked good down the flanks, and that's a big part of where the difference between Wigan and Bristol Rovers was, is the fact that Bristol Rovers basically said, you can have the wings. And Wigan didn't, um, and I thought they they looked dangerous down there, and that that pushed Ward and and Chambers back a bit, and didn't give us that space. Um, midfield looked tidy. Nolan, who I am hugely critical of, as you know, worked really hard and, and did some did some decent saving tackles at times. Um, still, don't think he's the answer overall. Bishop delighted for for him as well. I thought he worked really hard in the um, first half, made some good. Good runs. Um, I think the second half, it, it's a bit like the Arsenal game. He, he Bishop just dropped that little bit too deep each time, and I think that's he's far more effective when he's playing in the in the final third, pushing up behind. Um, Drinan didn't get much. Drinan didn't get much in the first half. Um, I think he's hard worker, and whether he's the answer, I don't know. And Norwood, when he came on, much more impressed with him than I was against Arsenal. He, he wasn't the headless chicken. He seemed to have a little bit more focus to him and he, he, he sort of controlled his play, which I was much impressed with. I was crying out for um, Edwards to come on, but for Judge, because I still have a problem with Judge. Out on the flank, his positional discipline is better than last season. He's not going wandering, but he just doesn't have that ability to get behind a player or, or to pick that pass out because he hasn't got pace. And I'd have liked to have seen um, Sears go right and Edwards play on the left, get that cut in. But generally, I'm 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 pleased with that. I think it's, it's a solid performance. When you look at some of the results for Peterborough and people yesterday, getting a, a win out of the way, 2-0, solid. My big concern, and this is the same against Bristol Rovers, our central defence. The, the NCR... All of those balls headed straight up in the air. I mean, it's a big, he's a big lad, but he doesn't. He, he seems to get his positioning wrong, and that, that's both on the ground. So balls get played round him, and he's not quite in the right place. But it's also in the air. He do, you know, you, you attack the ball and you head it out, not come up underneath it and head it up into the air. And how many times in the second half, in the first half, were Wigan almost able to pick up a second ball because he'd gone up in the air, and. Wilson, who I quite like in some ways because he's tidy, he's neat, he does simple things, he just puts the ball out into touch, I'm not going to do anything, but he again, he gets dominated in the air, you can see why he was a, a, a Lincoln player, um, no disrespect to Lincoln who I've got a lot of time for, yeah. but you know, he, he doesn't dominate, he doesn't control, and that is a concern for me, if you don't have your first choice central defenders in there, um, whether from Chambers, Wolfenden, or for me and Darba, Wilson and Toto, they they don't they don't instill trust at all. It's heart and mouth, and we'll encounter better teams than Wigan or Bristol Rovers, who are going to give us an entertaining time at the back there. Because you play the balls just over the top, you play the balls in at pace on the floor, and they get they're going to be they're going to be caught. So I've got that is an area of concern. But generally speaking, I think it's a really solid, efficient win for the opening day of the season. And whilst it doesn't send my optimism levels soaring into the stratosphere as yet, it um, certainly hasn't punctured the bubble. Well, Thomas, Mr. Game Day, thank you for joining me as ever. We've just witnessed Town beat Wigan 2-0 at Portman Road on Sky. What's your thoughts on that, my friend? Uh, yeah, I'm happy overall. Um, you know, it's game, first game of the season. Quite happy with that. Um, clean sheet. It was a, you know, 
good to see um, Bishop get his first goal since I think it's like November 2014. Yeah, which yeah. I wasn't aware of, which is quite of a strange fact. But yeah, it's good to see him get back on the score, scoring board. Um, but overall, you know, there's, I'm happy. It's, it's hard because it was, it was Wigan, so I don't want to be disrespectful to Wigan, but to be fair, it wasn't their best, was it? Um, I think next time, it's Bristol Rovers next week, isn't it? I know we beat them last week, but I think they'll bring more of a more of an edge to their side next week, and we'll be tested more. Um, it's like today, I think I like Chambers had a good game again, but he still worries me on the right. And as soon as we get someone on the wing against him with pace, we're going to be screwed. If I'm honest, um, as long as you know if KVY comes back, then we'll be fine. But I'm I'm a bit worried about the setup there with our right backs at the moment. Um, but it was harsh on Drynan, taking off at half time, hit the crossbar. I don't really know why he was taken off unless he had a knock. I'm not I'm not aware of anything, but I, was, I thought that was a bit harsh. Um, but I guess he wanted to get Norwood back up to speed, which is, I guess, it's fair enough. He is our main striker, but that was it's Drynan's to lose. And for me, he hadn't done anything to get taken off yet. Um, I thought 60th minute, maybe fair enough. But half half time, it, it kind of reminds me of Brett McGavin against Fleetwood. Um, kind of similar to that way, he's been given half an hour or half a game to prove something, and he hasn't proved anything like for Lambert's liking, and he's taken him off, which I think was very fair. Um, judge, I think Lambert and uh, David won't like me saying, <laughs> I thought he had a good game today. Um, you know, it was his cross for the second goal, which, in my opinion, was a well worked goal. Um, you know, Nolan to judge and then into the box, Norwood's done his little flick on, and then Edwards. With a great cross, with a great finish, you know, great touch. I think that will do his confidence well, good as well. Um, he's playing where he wants to play now. I think if he can stay there and keep, if he can push into that left-sided position, we've got a player on our hands this year, possibly. I think um, if, he, if he can keep pushing to get into that to start, I think he'll, he'll struggle to lose his place. But yeah, overall it was, you know, it was a good game. Um, it's, it's worrying. It's worrying at the back. We're a bit dodgy. I know that. You know, with no Wolford in today, you know, I think it would be Chambers and Wolford, and it would be Chambers and Wilson in the uh, Wolford and Wilson in the long run. I think, to be honest, um, once KBY's back fit or Donation's back fit, because like I said a, bit, a minute ago, Chambers isn't a right back, and it's, it's it's not for the long term, in my opinion. But um, yeah, it's a clean sheet. We won first game of the season out of the way. Look forward to the rest of the season. We've got Fulham next week, Bristol Rovers next Saturday. It's uh, gonna be a a quick season because it started later, but it's going to be a long off season as well. And yeah, um, I'm still worried. To be honest, there's bits of last uh, bits of today where it looked like last season, especially before we went to and up. I kind of thought, especially when Garner, uh, I think he hit the post, didn't he? With his sort of overhead yeah. kick. And there was two or three times when Wigan could have, you know, that's a bit more better quality. They could have scored, and we could have been in trouble. And that's that's the biggest worry for me. I don't think. Yeah, we're playing a more consistent formation, but it doesn't look convincing yet. And the fact that we got into the 80th minute, put a second behind behind them, I think it's a bit worrying. And it's the first game of the season, you know, we can't worry yet as, as such, but it's still, there's still signs of last season that needs to be worked out and sorted, because otherwise we're not, we're not going to get the playoffs if we played like we did today, in my opinion. Um, perhaps it was... Maybe that's just controversial, I don't know. But if you look back to last season, we had so many performances at the beginning of the season where we were finishing one, you know, we're finishing the game one nil. It didn't matter, and then all of a sudden we got worked out. So it's it's one of those. Hopefully we get it sorted and we can finish playoffs top two. But I said two one though, and uh, so I was kind of uh, like like the idea of a clean sheet. But I was hoping we can score about the end there just to give myself a boost for the leaderboard. But now I'm joking. Uh, Clean sheet's good. Good for Holy as well. I don't want him to drop his place. But yeah, on to, on to Fulham. <laughs>